Hey everyone, it's my last week's Friday video with some bonus flair. It's the goodest of Good Fridays ever because today is the premiere of the Hannah Montana movie. It's the best of both worlds, Jesus and Miley. Also, update on the Britney stuff I cover. She left the stage for 30 minutes this week because it was too smoky and then told the crowd to rock it with their cocks out. She is as charming as ever. Merry Christmas and shout out to Blind Scott and Burn Victim Thalia who got voted off Idol and Top Model on the same night this week. Next week, I'll do the Cover Girl commercial. How amazing was on Auntie Lambert this week, does anyone else have a chance? I love how Idol ran like five minutes long and tried to cut off the gay guy. That would never happen to Danny Goki. Shut those judges up and get them an egg timer. Oh, and I just hit 400,000 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to celebrate. Maybe I'll dance. Love you, bitch. I whip it out whenever I can. I don't know what that means. What the fuck? I'm a social. I had to have it. What the fuck? This week, TV guy named TV's 35 Sexiest Stars, which seems about as legit as People Magazine's 100 Most Beautiful People issue. I'd like to acknowledge the least sexy of the most sexy, Kate Walsh, Private Practice, Brody Jenner, Bromance, and Adrena Partridge from The Hills. That's my Kelly Clarkson clap. In her picture, Adrena's eyes are both looking up to disguise the fact that they were going to end up there anyways. She has turned that into her signature look. I imagine she grew up in a house with a lot of mirrors on the ceiling. She's a cute girl, not sexy. She and Lo and Elsie could form a not sexy club. I can't wait for Audrina's new show. She says it's going to show people a different side of her life. Once you get to look at the floor. Your show sounds awesome. Everywhere I go, people say, I want to know more about that Audrina girl. Thanks, Mark Burnett. TV Guy did get a couple of choices right. David Boreanaz from Bones. He's sexy. Potomo from Top Chef. She's very sexy. Do you agree? Who do you think is the sexiest person on TV? You can list a few if you can't just pick one. Congratulations to Britney Spears, who is now the number one most followed person on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. It's all over the news everywhere. It's so irritating to hear them talk about it and try and explain it on The View. Sherry and Elizabeth really enjoy it. Barbara Whoopi thinks it's so stupid and a waste of time. Stop trying to explain it to people. It's weird. It's awesome. It's fun. It doesn't make sense. It's like pooping. We just do it. We have to. It feels good. IWP. Anyways, Brittany is number one and you would think she'd be twittering more interesting things like my pussy is hanging out. Or did you see the clip last week where she just screamed Merry Christmas in the middle of her concert? It reminded me of Mary Catherine Gallagher. Merry Christmas. I love her and yes, she has come back, but yes, she is still bonkers. Again, there's week in the middle of the song, she just screamed bitch. She has Tourette's baby! Pussy bitch Christmas! I think she just wants us to know that her microphone is on. The big pretty news this week, though, is not her Twitter crown or premature or belated, either way, holiday greeting, but the voicemail where she reportedly is leaving a message saying that her father is threatening her and she wants to make sure that his conversatorship will be taken away and that the custody agreement is still in place. I cannot believe this message. I cannot believe that she could pronounce the word conservatorship so smoothly. That's more letters than oops, I did it again. You rock that big vocabulary. Pussy bitch Christmas conservatorship. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just wrote your next single. You're welcome. <laughs> Hurry before Hottie Montag steals it. Amen. In Twilight News, Robert Pattinson does not smell. The internet was a stink with rumors from the full moon set that he did not shower and was very smelly. He said, I haven't even been on set yet, so he must really smell if they can smell him from there. The interviewer pointed out that Zac Efron reportedly didn't shower either, and Edward Cullen says, he looks like he smells really good. I want to suck his blood. I can't wait to see Seventeen again with and Zac, and I'm not mad at him for pulling out of Footloose. Every time I say pulling out, I think dirty things. I'm not mad at Zac for dropping out of Footloose. Poop. Because um, we know he can sing and cut loose, foot loose. I just kicked. You didn't see it. I'm barefoot. You don't want to see it. And they're saying that Chase Crawford will replace him from Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl was so good this week. XOXO. Even Jenny is looking better. And I learned on page 39 of Miles to Go, shah, that Jenny was one of the three finalists to be Hannah Montana. Did you know that? Our lives would have been very different if that had happened. Little Miss better stay out of the sunshine or she'll get eaten. Kristen Stewart gave an interview to Entertainment Weekly. And the title is Kristen's Lighter Side. And she says, things like the vampires go away, new moon, so you'll miss the hell out of them, direct quote. And she's adverse to structure, and she hates actors who go into music. It said Kristen's lighter side. I thought she would talk about rainbows and muffins and her favorite lip gloss. She's so light. She and Whitney Port should have a charisma off. It would be awesome to see personality versus personality in action. Whitney totally smack-talk Kristen Stewart in a new interview, saying she didn't see what the fuss was about Twilight, and that Miss Stewart was okay, seems so serious and one-dimensional, and the acting was 
is not so good. I cannot imagine what would be more insulting than Whitney Port, the queen of, uh-huh, okay, sure, what should we do tonight? Sounds great, saying that your acting is one-dimensional. <laughs> and quickly, finally, bam, 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 lots of things I want to mention. Uh, Michael Vick, you're still a dick, and you're not to be think you're going to play football again. Computer says no. What's that from? PlayStation 2 dropped to only 100 bucks. I don't have one, so I'm going to get it. What games for PS2 do you recommend? And I'm thrilled that Jordan Sparks and Honor Society are touring with the Jonas Brothers. And Jordan replied to me on Twitter twice. It was nice. So did Tila Tequila. Who's crazy? Miley never replies to anyone except Mandy. Um, Mandy is sitting right next to you. Why don't you talk to her and Twitter to us, selfish? Oh, my point. J-Bro and J-Sparks, the Virgin's Rock Tour, they should call it that. I'm full of good ideas today. Songs, tour ideas. I'm so excited about Honor Society. I love that song. See you in the dark. I emailed them a month ago asking for permission to use it. I never heard back, but that's okay. The offer is still open. Meanwhile, I got RuPaul's new CD, so work. Cover girl, what the fuck? Maybe next week I'll lip sync for my life. Comment questions of the day in the description and Daily Miley turn to the last page of the book. Miley, number 41 on a hundred things I want to do before I die. <laughs> Introduce this generation, that's you, to Buddy Holly and have him be on top 10 albums of iTunes. So everyone go buy Buddy Holly on iTunes and help this girl's dreams come true. <laughs> Don't I look like Buddy Holly? Oh, we, oh, I look just like Buddy Holly. Okay, <clears throat> I'll perform. <clears throat> All of my love, all of my kissing, you don't know what you've been missing, oh boy, no, oh, I do not hook up. Oh, that's my favorite song right now. That's my favorite song. What's your favorite song right now? Mine is Kelly Clarkson, I don't hook up. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, turn the camera off. That's progress. Cover girl, put the bass in your walk. Head to